Ready, five, four, three. Hold on, hold on. I know we had Hamesh, Alba. Everyone needs their own way of counting mm. in. Mm. I think we should all develop, and you don't have to think of it, but what off the top of your head, Chad? Ready in Hamesh, Alba, Shalosh, <laughs> Stein. There you go. Yeah. Where my mom's, where my mom's at Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at Where my mom's at podcast With Christina P Hello mommies, listen First up, I'm doing one night in Vegas One night only The Venetian Resort in Las Vegas and the Summit Showroom. Tickets are almost gone for that one. If you want to see me in Vegas, I don't do that shit a lot. You got to go there. I added a show at Wise Guys in Short Lake Titties, Puta. And here's the deal, man. They're always like, why don't you add a late show Saturday? I'm like, fuck you. Why don't you add a 4 p.m. show Saturday? Because my audience is civilized human beings. We go to bed early. So come see the 4 o'clock show. And then uh, that one's gone. And then Madison Jizz Conson Comedy Club on State, October 26th or 28th. I'm working on some new Canada stuff coming because I just had such a blast in Toronto and Winnipeg. I'm coming back. Uh, and I'll be hitting the East Coast and everywhere else. ChristinaPOnline.com for tickets. Also, check out my lipstick if you haven't bought this already. The Perfect Red. It really is the perfect red. And there's some good stuff coming around the corner with this shade um, as well. Jeez. Now, with me, I'm so pumped. I absolutely love this girl. Kim Congdon is here, guys. Wow. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm so excited. I love you. I love This is genius. Isn't it great? Yeah, thanks. Yes. Well, you know why? Because I've been wearing red lipstick since I was like 13. Yeah, it's your thing. Yeah, it's my fucking thing, mm -hmm. man. And they all suck. So I developed my own one with an atelier in Italy. Wow. And that's it. I'll give you one. You yeah, can... I feel like that'll get me a husband. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I've been lacking in red lipstick, and that might be the problem. <sighs> So what's the dating sitch like? Oh my God, it's so bad. Tell me everything. Well, it's not good. I think mostly it's me. Wait, why do you think it's you? <laughs> because I um, I do sets and then I hang out only where the comics are allowed to go. Sure. And then I walk out the door and then like two people look at me and I sprint to my car <laughs> and then I go home and I'm like, why am I so lonely? <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like that. You ice, you're a little isolated. Yeah. You just got to marry a comic. I think that's so Oh my <laughs> God, no. You're you're an anomaly. I know. You're the only one that can. The only, the only, I don't know how it happened or why, but God, I'm lucky. You're I, and so it's, lucky. It's crazy because he's the, my, my husband's the only comedian that I ever dated. I didn't even date another comic before Tom Segura. Dude, I'm truly, I mean, the way that I, it is, you should hear how the female tom comics talk about it. They're like, it will never happen again. It's it like, might. The stars crossed. <laughs> And Tom and Christina met, and then they went like past, and it was once in every three thousand years, like Haley's Comet. Yeah, once every yeah era. But maybe is there no? Have you? I won't say who, but have you dated male comics ever? I have. So you've tried. <laughs> yeah. What's it yeah, yeah, like yeah. when it's not working? It's, What's the um, main problem? Well, I don't even know. I think that dating the like the actual job's kind of fun to date someone that does the same thing as yeah. you when you go on the road together, like we always had a lot of fun with that. It's just like the personality of another comic is okay. uh, a lot of clashing, a lot of the same. See, here's the difference is that Tom and I did not do the road together very free. It was mm. an anomaly if we did work together actually. And mm. I think that may have been what saved us is because we didn't, really mixed stand up a whole lot with the really I don't know and but, that you both are like good people somehow yeah yeah we're <laughs> like decent humans yeah so so maybe this person was yeah they're just off like oh gosh I don't want to like get you in trouble because <laughs> everybody yeah, yeah, knows yeah. Who okay I'm sorry I, I'm, the, Every, I'm not the one that's checked out so let's not talk about it no it's okay it doesn't matter I mean I I dated Lewis you know Lewis Lewis Gomez <sighs> no he does the, him up. the skank let's fest festival oh yeah which by the way you're gonna be there yes September <laughs> <laughs> I actually first. have my own mini festival at his festival, which we refer to as my alimony. That's amazing. Called Kim Fest. Oh, he's cute. I like him. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Gomez um, too, Latin. Like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really good friends. And um, we dated. It just didn't work out. We're very, very, very much alike in yeah. uh, almost uh, a bad way. Yeah, because co comedians, I mean, for those of you who haven't figured it out, we're severely mentally ill. It's yeah. funny because it took me like today. I was, 
Uh, by 11.30, I woke up at like 8. By 11.30, I was still in my morning routine to get my mind right. That's, That's how normal. much shit. Right. That's <laughs> It's like, I got to exercise and then I got to rest <laughs> and then I got to meditate and then yeah. I got a vision quest and then I got, it's like, fuck dude. So I'm I, I so it. mentally ill. After everything I do, like I'll be at my house, I'll be like, I have to send an email and I'll be like, I'll do it at 832 and <gasps> then I'll zone out and then it'll be 834 and I'm like, I missed the window at 842 it is. <laughs> and I'll just do stuff like that <sighs> um, for a while. But yeah, I mean, I don't want to date another comic. Now he's got a special out. He just dropped a special. Great. He has this joke about how he dated this Puerto Rican. She was a crazy bitch. <sighs> and, and and the the joke is that he was crying and I filmed him. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did. <laughs> but he left out the part where he cheated on me and he was begging for me back. So oh. I filmed him crying. So now I have to put out a special. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking defend myself. Yes, you do. And that's why you can't date a comic. That's true. You know what? You know what's so funny is that I I don't know what Tom says about me until he's taping it. I <laughs> yeah. purposely don't, and and vice versa. So only now are we like kind of sharing each for each other. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "What are you working on with me right now? What's what am I doing in your act?" And he's like, "Just about your blowjobs, how bad they are." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> All right. It's your therapy. Don't want to fucking know. Yeah, like, I, I'm done. I don't care. Anymore. I don't care. All right. So you're a single lady. Are you on the I'm apps? Single. Are you doing all that? You know, I get on the apps every once in a while. Yeah. Right now, I am on Tinder Plus because I'm trying to push my show in Raleigh. What's Plus? Tin what's the Plus? <laughs> you can cho choose the location. So now I'm just matching with dudes and telling them to buy tickets to my show. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm trying to make it out here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm on the apps. They're horrible. Yeah, that's uh, what I hear. And, and you'd think they'd be a blessing, but they're, I mean, I guess what what's wrong? Is it just that people are too, no, too cursory I with their judgment? Wrong. What is it? They get these apps. They're like, okay, $15 a month or whatever it is, just so you could change the location and choose the height of the man you want. Right. I mean, they charge you extra for everything. They're like, you want a man that's tall? Three extra dollars a month. You have to pay. That's and then by the up. end of it, it's like $50 a month. No, for what? And they only give you five hot people in the beginning. And then you're like searching endlessly for those first five. Because you're like, this is good. They lure you in. Yeah, but can I tell you, like, if I were to look at Tom Segura when I met him, <laughs> like his statistics, his stats, like, let's say I'm trying to picture the Tinder you know what I mean? Like when he was, tw I met him when he was 23 and I was 26. That's like how we met as okay. human beings in comedy. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm a 23 year old guy. I sleep on a mattress on the floor. I don't use soap in the shower. I shampoo my crotch. Um, I look 33, even though I'm 23. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like here's Tommy when we were, when we just him. met, like he would have been, I Which don't one? know. Great. On <laughs> Which one? On the far right. It's like Tommy at his heaviest. That's the one? No, no. The middle Tommy was like 21-year-old Tommy. And when I started dating him, he's Tommy on the left. Okay. Which is adorable. Okay, right? okay. Adorable. Adorable. But again, like, I don't know. Yeah, but he, this is we're, this is far beyond. I don't know what's happened to men. What do you mean? They don't, they're like, Tom's like handsome. He's like a masculine man. Yeah, he looks like a man. Every man now I know has a period. Like, <laughs> Well, men have periods too. I'm so glad we're talking about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, but, but you know, can I tell you something? It, it, I think it's the LA man. It is it's because I'm guy. here and I'm like cow cowboys. I'm actually disgusting here. I'm like <laughs> like going out, like drooling everywhere. Yes. The guys are so fucking hot here. Yeah, but they're really immature. It seems. Oh, like. okay. Can I tell you my secret spot? Yeah, it ain't so secret now. If you're visiting Austin and you're a young single girl, yes, I'm telling you. Go down uh, the uh, Lady Bird Lake okay. where they rent kayaks out. Oh. You go sit there. There's some nice benches. You'll see the fittest, the fittest dudes in Texas renting these kayaks shirtless. And then they jog around the lake shirtless. A lot of them are med students. Catch me ovulating at Lady Bro. Lake. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Bro, I'm telling you, you and Wineshank, you got to park your ass down. I'll tell you the exact kayak store, the <laughs> okay. rental place. I go there and I just look at the cuties with my kids, of course, running around being animals. My kids are tearing the bark off of trees and there's like <laughs> hot young guys. 
I love that you're still looking at the Fuck. cuties, though. You That's know, healthy. You got to stay. I got to stay alive. I still ovulate, even though I am perimenopausal, which is very exciting. Perry? So this, this is what you have to look forward to, Kim. So not only do you get to go through menopause, there's a cool window of like a seven to ten years where you ramp up to get into menopause. Oh, my God. It's a fucking nightmare. So like the night sweats and like your, your, your everything. Seven to ten? Let me tell you, I looked in the mirror this morning without makeup on. And I was like, who's this handsome fella? <laughs> no. I swear to you. No. I was like, oh my God, I'm a man. I'm turning into my Uncle Steve every fucking day. I feel like that sometimes. You know, you're young and beautiful. You're in your 30s, maybe. Are you even I'm in? I'm 32. I'm going to be 33. You're a today baby. When this comes Shut. out. Shut. Oh, no way. Yeah. Happy Smurf Day. Thank you. Okay, well, listen, you're going to be married. But before oh, that, let's God. look at some hot guys. Show her this calendar. I found this on the talk. Are you into TikTok? Yeah, the way I am. Oh, it's yeah. the best, isn't it's it? A huge problem for me. Me too. What's I put your in favorite? 15, 16 hour days on the talk. <laughs> oh my god! I know things about like these young TikTokers and their relationships. I'm like, somehow during COVID, got into lesbian drama. <laughs> I'm like, what's <laughs> happening with JoJo Siwa? Why did she leave her girlfriend? Yeah. Will you get me into this lane? Yeah. Because I'm just into weirdos strictly and I don't want to fuck up my algorithm by watching. Yours might be better than, I have a feeling you have a really good algorithm. No, I have a feeling yours is story, <laughs> story heavy, very rich in story. So I found this. LA uh, firefighters, you better watch hot. out. I have a copy of the 2024 Venetian priest calendar. What? <laughs> Let's look. Oh yeah. Yum. January. <laughs> It sucks that they're all pedophiles, but, and it sucks that the crickets are so loud. Ooh, February, February. <laughs> they're hot, dude. They're hot as Watch fuck. Oh, <gasps> dibs on Damn, June. Damn, I take June too. June's hot. Oh, oh. Ja- June is it. Well, you're Puerto Rican. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, you know men. I mean, yeah, of course. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm old school. I, I like dudes. I'm those relics that just go one way. Yeah, no, Puerto Rican men are hot as fuck. I love. You know what I like when they got them light eyes, but the tan skin. Mm, I like when they say "mommy." Yeah. <laughs> Mommy. I like, love what? <laughs> can I tell you my dream about when Tom dies before me? Because men always die before the women, as as they should. Yeah, of course. We <laughs> put in our five talk. years of peace. <laughs> huh? I've been raising everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna buy. I'd like to buy the Versace mansion. Do you know the one in South Beach? Yeah. I think it's a hotel now, but somewhere yeah. along those lines of that property. Mm-hmm. And then open it up to widows, only widows only. But you got to be cool as shit. Like I have to invite you. Yeah. And we live together in South Beach and we look at hot Puerto Rican guys jogging all fucking day. Yes. Do, 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 yes. Do, do, do. Yeah. I like also having young <clears throat> fit men as the furniture. Oh. Like they're just bent over. And you just sit on them. <laughs> you have one dude, he's just a bench. That's it. Dude, this is so great. Do yeah. you date Puerto Ricans or do you have a no Puerto Rican policy? Since you know, you are Puerto since Rican? Lewis was Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. And that might be my last. That might be <laughs> I it. think two Puerto Ricans is a lot. It's a lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. spicy. Yeah, I want to go either white or black. Oh, okay. Or a mix of the two. Now, do you date women too? No. Yeah, okay. No, I have a bit about it right now that I wish. I know. I do think that they're like very attractive. Yeah. And I'm into the porn, but not the actual thing. Yeah, because I've I've tried being a lesbian in the 90s and um, not not really, really tried. But like, I mean, I made out with a softball player in college. Yeah, it's like like saying you had lunch, but you went to Costco. Right. (laughs) Yeah. You just had samples. (laughs) 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 <laughs> yeah, and I, I didn't want to get into the lifestyle or the actual intimacy of a relationship with a woman. I think it would be over- draining. Like, I kind of like the male tendency towards apathy mm-hmm. with emotions and stuff. Yeah. Easier. When I was considering trying to date a woman when I was fed up with men, um, something switched in my head that made me a misogynist. <laughs> and I was like, I feel like I'd be mean to them. <laughs> I feel like I would, because I am like, I pretty much like, I didn't raise myself, but kind of emotionally very much raised myself. I had two very interesting parents. Mm. Um, You know the show Shameless? Yes. That's how like they were. So it wasn't like. sounds about right. You're a comic. (laughs) So yeah. So it was like that. So all I want in the world is like a husband to take care of me. Like not even like with a lot of money, just. So I think if I dated a woman, 
naturally I do jujitsu and comedy. I'd be the man. I'm like in a hoodie right now in cargo shorts. Yes. You know what I mean? You do jujitsu. So oh it just puts God. me in the man's place. And I think I'd be bitter about having to take care again when I'm like, I want someone to do this shit for me. hundred percent. And I could see myself being like, why don't you lose some weight? No, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. Getting a little chubby, huh? No, yeah. You're the one that stays home all day. Oh, you should I'm be fucking phobic. exercising. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, she should be in the kitchen. Like, I'm coming yeah. home from work from yeah. a mic. Yeah. <laughs> Telling jokes. And I don't, like, I can't have a warm noodle. <laughs> I'm hitting her. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's fine because we're both women. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like no, you know what's interesting? When um, Tom and I lived in a guest house in a really fancy neighborhood, we were so poor, but we lived in a fancy neighborhood. And I was like, dude, rich people must have the best lives, you know? They're just as trashy as everybody else. Rich people are just as garbage as poor people. So I live next door to two lesbians. Mm. And I would hear them drinking and fighting. And one of them would beat the shit out of the Whoa. other. Yeah, she'd be like, fucking Chrissy. Why don't you go back to, you know, Maryland? Where you from then, bitch? I'll take you to the airport tomorrow. I was like, these are women. I bet they I bet they cut deep, too, in those fights. Yeah, Because they dude. both keep going. <laughs> You know, men like don't have like that many sentences after like 10, they're out. Thrive Market is my go-to for all of my grocery and household essentials and the convenience of getting everything online then quickly shipped to my doorstep is a huge time saver. And as a Thrive Market member, I save money on every single grocery order. On average, I save over 30% each time. I love Thrive Market because it's got like all the staples. My kids love their macaroni and cheese and the crackers. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Not only does Thrive Market save me money, but they also save me time. Instead of reading a bunch of label ingredients at the grocery, I can use their on-site filters to suit my needs. Whether you're looking for certified gluten-free snacks, low sugar alternatives, or non-toxic cleaning, you can curate your own shopping experience with the click of a button and trust that it's made with the highest quality ingredients and sourcing methods. Join in on the savings with Thrive Market today and get 30% off your first order plus a free $60 gift. Go to thrivemarket.com slash WMMA for 30% off your first order uh, plus a free $60 gift. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash W-M-M-A. Thrive market.com slash W-M-M-A. So true. Cause Tom, yeah. But Tom and I, because we're comics, we fight dirty as fuck too. Like, we do. Well, we just say, I can't even repeat what we say to each other because yeah. if, you know as a comic, you can say anything. Mm -hmm. Like you, you look like Hitler right now, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, like it doesn't even register. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I just called him the Fuhrer or whatever. Like, it doesn't even <laughs> register. Yeah. Can I ask you this? Why do you think those hot guys are priests and not out there getting laid? What is wrong? There's something wrong, right? They're molested, probably. They're molested and they're molesting. Yeah. Easy. I, easy. Mystery solved. <laughs> I think I think we dug it up. The, that one's hot as fuck, too. That what one in the June. the fuck, dude? Is this, this is this year this man exists? 2024, this is next year he exists. <laughs> the disgusting woman in me wants to bring him into the comedy <laughs> world and just ruin him. Just absolutely ruin him. Having, doing podcasts with porn stars, having them eating squirt, like whatever they do on those other podcasts. <laughs> Wait, hold on, go back, go back. No, what? Oh, yeah. sorry, I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm like, just turn the page, dude. <laughs> 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 I forgot it's a video. <laughs> that guy, dudes are hot. Okay, he he's definitely he's been, given he's, seventh heaven dad yeah. though, who I also thought was hot when I was a kid. Ew, really? Yeah, daddy issues, big time. <laughs> I did think he was really hot, which is crazy because I could have had him. You could have him now. No, I'm too old now. You know he's a pedophile for real. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I had a crush on him when I was eight. It was Maybe, perfect. But you felt those vibes. You probably felt like this man would appreciate me. And what I have to offer. Yeah. And yeah. I was eating mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this man would. Do you, do you, okay. Because you're Puerto Rican, I have, um, my stepsister is half Indian and half Guatemalan and mm -hmm. she loves corny white guys. No. And then you said that, it reminded me like, okay, no. she loves them just fucking gay as fuck looking. You no. know what I mean? Just seventh heaven gay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Sarah. Yeah. The girl I do the podcast with, yes. your friend Sarah Weinshank. She this bitch. She loves a gay looking straight man. I know. She likes some skinny, nails painted. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. I hate it. I don't, I mean, I'm kind of like, even like, your voice has to be deep. 
For sure. I can't even take a not deep voice. And that happens a lot too now. A guy will come up and hit on me and he'll be like, hey. And I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) Do I have to tell you? Then I'm like, do you think I have a dick? I'm like, get offended. It all goes through my mind. (laughs) Well, here's the thing. You're doing jujitsu. Yeah. Aren't there any cool guys in your jujitsu class? Um, yeah, I've actually dated someone from jujitsu before. But and? then when it doesn't work out, it gets weird. And then you're at the same gym. Oh, yeah. And so that happened. I got played by this really hot guy in jujitsu. He played he, you? Well, he was kind of a psycho, right? Oh, yeah. Super hot. This is how he got me. Really hot. We trained together for months and months. I'm not like, you know, just go like meet him. I like trained with him for a long time. And then eventually we were talking and I invited him to a show. I was like, this is how I'm going to make my move. I'll invite him to a show. Yeah. Very manly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll impress him with my wit. <laughs> yeah. That's love, what men want. Yeah. They want to be impressed with a chick's mind. You know what this guy wants? For me to amplify my voice <laughs> <laughs> through speakers. <laughs> That'll get him hard. Dominate a room. <laughs> Holding a cock in your hand. Be they love powerful. It. Yeah, be masculine. It's the stand up comedy is the most masculine. It's disgusting. Do you know that I wouldn't let Tom see me do stand up the first fifteen years we were together? I'm like, don't watch me do stand up. It's a different side of me. I'm I'm a feminine woman at home. I tell every guy that. I'm like, don't treat don't me like me. a comedian. Because the second I'm off stage, I'm not saying like fuck my dick hole. <laughs> like I'm not that's not me at all. I don't talk about it. I don't talk about farting. Like, I'm like, once I'm <laughs> off stage, I'm like, you have to pay for my things now. Yeah, yeah. You're a lady. You got you to be a, a lady at home. Yeah. I know. You have to be a beta at home and alpha in the streets. Okay, so anyway, so you invite him <laughs> to the to your... Mm-hmm. He comes oh out. God. Which is at the comedy store? Yeah. We have a great night. Oh. I bring him, you know, and the comedy store treats me really well. So I bring him to the yeah. back. He's got yeah. free drinks Is it the main night. room or the OR? Because <clears throat> those are very different vibes. I actually don't bring him to a show because I don't do that. I bring oh. him to watch me judge Roast Battle, which is cool. I'm just Even making... Even f- better. Better. Listen, I got the moves. Yeah, this is great. Now I'm I'm sitting there. I got Jack Osborne to my left. <laughs> I've got I love someone that. else to my right. Yeah. He's behind me. I'm roasting. It's all going good. He takes me on a real... When we're rolling together one time. Oh, yeah. Then we, we have some drinks. We're flirting, right? This is obviously a date. This is later on. We go out for drinks after. And I am like, why have you never flirted with me? We've been training together for three months. And he's like, oh, I had a girlfriend. I was waiting. He was like, I was really into you the second I met you. But I did have a girlfriend. He was like, in the second we broke up, I like asked you to roll with me or whatever. That's cool. That got me. I was like, oh. Roll with you meaning in, in, in jujitsu yeah. terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead Fight of sparring other. you. Fu- and did you, you smell his balls and feet? Like, I always think jujitsu is a little stinky. Um, It can be stinky. But if you like, if you're clean, it's not. Yeah. You know the stinky people and you kind of just avoid eye contact with them <sighs> and stay away. But you so, have to learn. So he rolls with you and he's, he's built. He's, he's probably built. Fit. He's hot as fuck. Yeah. Those hot jiu-jitsu guys are hot as fuck. Yeah. He's got a nice body. And then I'm into the fact that he had a girlfriend and wouldn't hit on me. So I'm like fixated on it, which now I know is a trick. This is why <gasps> men don't date women that are in their 30s because we learn all the tricks and then we have them. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've figured it all out because we have the tricks. And now even when that starts, I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't. You didn't have a girlfriend. You you didn't. You just. Wow. That is a good line mm-hmm. because then the woman goes, wow, faithful. Faithful. He's so loyal. And loyal. you're already picturing how you're going to marry this loyal guy. Loyal with a full beard. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is there, man. a God? <laughs> so then, so then I'm fully into it. We go on a few dates. This guy is so great. He's picking me up. He's five minutes early. The car is cleaned from a car wash. Where he's doing he's doing moves like parking in illegal spots and being like, if I get a ticket, it's fine. We just don't want to walk. And I'm like, in, that's how I like to be treated. I'm like, I want to be steps from the door. You know what I mean? Yeah. Princess treatment. And then he just starts getting kind of weird. Like how? <clears throat> like one night he goes out and he's like, hey, I'm going out tonight with some friends, but I want to see you after. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Yes, okay. All right. How late after? That's what I was thinking. And I was like, I might be asleep. Yeah. Uh, let me know when you're done, if I'm still working or whatever. And then he um, hits me up. Like, I get like five missed calls at like 2 a.m. And I pick up and he's like, why didn't you fucking pick up out of nowhere? And he's like, I've been waiting outside. And I was like, what? And he's like, I've been waiting outside, stuck outside. I made my friends drop me off and now you embarrass me. This is out of nowhere. This is after like dating for like a month and a half. He's met all my friends. They all love him. And I literally like when I answered the phone and I heard him, 
I got like body chills. Yeah. And the first thought that went in my head was he's going to hit me one day. What? Of course. Like the first thought. And I literally was like, I never want to speak to you again. Yeah. Right then. Did I you say like, it to yes. him? Good. I said, I never want to see you again. He's like, well, I have stuff there. And I was like, I'll drop it off to <laughs> yeah, your gym tomorrow. I'll throw it out the window. Yeah. I was like, I'll drop it off. Never contact me again. And I just blocked him. Wow. But that was scary. That's it came out of nowhere. Very scary. And that I embarrassed him. He was like humiliated. I guess he was t- telling his friends that he was going to go to a girl's house and then waiting. But I'm like, yeah, I wasn't waiting up for you till 3 a.m. I don't know what kind of planet you think I fucking live on. What? But that's an abuser because that's what they do, right? Like, don't they court you heavy like that? Mm-hmm. Like, they come on strong. And then you said that he met all your friends within a month and a half of dating you. Mm-hmm. That's kind of soon. Mm-hmm. So he was already trying to get, like, infiltration yeah, into your world. Yeah, and he was, like, so... Ooh. He was, like, so... Um, he was so good at, like, copying my interests that I thought that we were just super connected. What do you mean? Like, I would, he, I'd be, like... I'd say something I'd like and he was so good at being like, I'm into that too. Or he'd be the first one to bring it up like he did his research. Like he was, Ew. he was manipulative, but he was so hot. So hot. He was hot. great in bed, of that's course. That's the problem. Of All course, the great in ones. bed. Yeah, fucking They're hell. crazy. I know, but that's why the sex is good because it feels, it feels familiar, right? Because push, pull, The devil has me. good dick. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, like what's yeah. happening? Yeah, it's the emotional fuckery. So, okay, I'm going to get real dark here for a minute just because I, wa- I like what you yeah. just said. I have, a, a, I went to high school with this girl and she had a younger sister in the same high school. And I ran into this girl, the older one, my age one, at the mall a mm-hmm. few years back after I had my, my first kid. And I was like, hey, how you doing? She, she starts crying. I go, what's yeah. going on? She goes, remember my little sister? I go, yeah. She goes, well, um, her boyfriend just beat her to death. <gasps> and I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, they were together and he beat the shit out of her in her bathroom and dragged her. So these guys, yeah. it starts like this, just like a PSA for women listening. The controlling mm-hmm. guy who wants in and will manipulate and yeah. then pull this anger shit on you. It does turn into hitting. And I'm so impressed with you that you were like, fuck right off. Because yeah. it, you you know what I mean? You're I like, mean, 10 years perfect. ago, I would have been like, yeah. maybe I did something wrong or I should have let him in. I did embarrass him. But no, fuck that. Of course. Him. Now I always say when a guy mistreats me, my first, like the first thing I'm like, my husband would never. Oh, that's a good the one. The guy that I would marry would never, never try to talk to me in a way that would scare me. Right. They don't want to scare you. Normal yeah. guys are not to scare <laughs> yeah. you. And I read this, ladies, if you're listening, if a guy ever chokes you and you're in a <gasps> relationship, there is a over 90% chance he will kill you. The second he puts chokes his hands you. around your neck, he's probably going to kill you if you stay with him. Yeah. Statistically. Yeah. That's the crazy thing is like, you're like, who's the guy doing this? It's the guy that starts off hitting you, verbally abusing you, isolating you. Mm -hmm. And then I know if I were younger, I could have totally probably fallen into that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're like, get me at 20 when I was really fucked up and immature. I know. I want to write a book about all the guys I've slept with. I really think you should. (laughs) And all the stories I've learned from each one. I really think you should. It wouldn't have that many chapters. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just a few it'd be a short book just a few just tiny like under 10 yeah mm. yeah what what else have you learned for for the broads listening? um what do you what's the biggest one that was a huge lesson by the way um uh that like guys i like the the other quote i like to hear about dating is if he wants to he will oh yeah that's a big one guys guys that are dependable this is why i'm single i'm like so picky but i do i find i also don't just find negatives in people i date i take the positive things too so every person i date or like get to know i'm like i like this about them and i didn't like this about them and i'll pull those out and like put them in a different it's great and i try to find someone with all the good ones but it hasn't happened i know <laughs> but but maybe i don't know I mean, it seems hard because it seems hard just because, um, you know, when I met my husband, it was like there was no really, there was internet, but I think face, no, oh. MySpace. Mm-hmm. Like we didn't DM. DM wasn't a thing. There mm-hmm. was no. Were you in his top? Yeah. <sighs> See, yeah. you have it all. And Friendster. You have it all. You were you in his all. top eight. And uh, <laughs> I remember it all. <laughs> but like the, we just didn't have as much selection, variety. It literally yeah. still was like, well, who am I friends with? Right. Not like I could fuck everybody in Los Angeles County tonight. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Oh, I'd love to find a guy 
that works with his hands, right? He just like builds things and sells it online. Maybe he has his own shop. I love that. Where he like builds things, you know, like cool dog houses, something fucking. Oh, I love something that. cool. He's got 400 followers and a private account. Yep. I like that. He's into comedy. Like he's actually a fan of comedy, but like you can't tell I if you bring that. him around comics. He's not he's not going to embarrass you in the green room. Mm -hmm. He's not going to fan fan out on people. I want Coco um from Pocahontas. Who? <laughs> Coco um, the guy Let's she should have married. Let's see. Should I but, marry Coco? But, but you know what I like about his business model is that it's scalable in that he can franchise it or something exactly. like a bakery. So yes. he could sell his furniture so he can grow that Coco -um. business. He oh, just perfect. fucking cut shit. And hunted. I like this. And guy. had a, a thing on his chest. I like that. I don't I'll like take the Coco. Um. Oh, I like the tats even. Yeah, right? Hot. He's got a spear. He's going to go get her dinner. I like that shit too, dude. I'm into this. I'm and into then this she married too. fucking John Smith. She did? The white guy? Yeah. I mean, I think in real life he like raped and killed her, but yeah, for yeah, Disney yeah. they switched it up. Dude, she married this fucking faggot? Are you serious? <laughs> I know. Look at him. He looks like he calls his mom mother. Yeah. <laughs> I hate him. Dude, he's such a pussy boy. He's such a pussy. This is the kind of guy my stepsister likes. Ugh. That's what I'm telling you. Like no. these, like this is Disney's fault. Fabio dude. brainwashing girls. Yeah, I used to like him when I was younger too. And then when I got a little older, I learned it well, was Coco all along. You know, of course, dude. Okay, you know why? Okay, hmm. light hair. Light this ass. is a tween. This is a tween fantasy, right? <laughs> this is yeah. this is the first guy you have a crush on when you're like 12 because like, they're safe. Like when Casper became a real boy. Do you remember that? Right. <laughs> he just started following me on Instagram. The real boy, Casper. <laughs> but this guy's not going to fuck Sorry to you. slurp in your mic, no, mommy. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like this guy's not going to hold you down and fuck you. No. The other guy's going to fuck you. Yeah. And that's what you want when you're a woman. The little girls like the blonde guy. Because mm -hmm. he can finger well. They're like, he fingers so he finger, good. Because he's practiced on 12 Sweetie, there's more to the world than a finger. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell my kids. <laughs> of course. You got to educate them. <laughs> got to educate That's them. really him. No, you That's the real John Smith. Hold on. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he's, he's kind of hotter okay. than the other one, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, you take away all the stupid dog collar or whatever that is. and the... yeah, He's fine. He's fine. He's just whatever boring white guy. Mm -hmm. Looks like a poet. I'd like to share uh, on our way out here. Would you play her about your, it's the, your man's? Thing. I thought this was so fucking funny and I've watched it a hundred times. And maybe this is something you've learned hmm. in your dealings with men, but this is something I know to be fucking. If your man tells you that he has to shit, he tells you when he's going to shit and where he's going to shit. <laughs> if he lets you in on his shitting information, which is sacred, by the way, he loves you. Oh my God. No doubt. <laughs> a tear rolls down my cheek because I've never heard of someone's shit location. <laughs> <laughs> have you not have you not no i actually like get livid when i think about men shitting this is the problem it's this a is huge the problem. problem kim this is this is the problem it's a huge fucking problem first of all the the length of time oh, it's 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 an inex inexcusable especially oh no wait until you have kids with a man the then the the shit time doubles oh god because for every kid he needs another 10 minute shit because they're hiding from you and hiding from the family <laughs> well then, when you don't have kids they're cheating on you on the toilet so <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes from bad to worse from worse to kind of better i guess yeah it's how they avoid you is is their shitting time but wait a minute you never even when you dated the male comic you guys never talked about your shits and stuff yeah kind of but i don't want to know this is why you're this is why you're single. <laughs> I need to open myself up more. Open up your heart to <laughs> some shit and your arms to yeah. take his shits. No, because I, he this is right. What this guy is saying, that's like intimacy for a man when you know his shitting thing and where he's going to shit and how and when. Wow. Yeah, it's disgusting, but it am I wrong? Is there some truth to this? Yeah, I think there's truth to that. Can sure. I tell you my ex, the comic? Yeah. One time we went to a Starbucks and he was like, I need to go to the bathroom. And he goes in and I'm waiting. And about 25 minutes <gasps> goes by and there's a line. Oh, no. And it's like, oh, that's so embarrassing. Over eight people long. This is in New York City. Everyone needs no, to pee. They're not all in going to New York City. In New, New York, York City. Bathroom this public. gets worse. The door opens and he comes out. Laptop open, no. podcast playing, mid podcast. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. He's a serial killer and you dodged a bullet. <laughs> That's crazy. That guy, what, what, Lewis? Yeah. Lewis, you're, you're mentally ill, buddy. <laughs> He's mentally ill. Yo, that's some, but I'll so tell you what. that's why I like to stay out of it. But I'll tell you what, that's fucking bold as shit. Like, on so many fronts. Mm-hmm. A, to take a shit at Starbucks when there's maybe one or two toilets tops. B, a New York City public toilet. Yeah. Brave. Yeah. And then to do that, the audacity on that guy. Yeah. The yeah. balls on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be successful. Yeah. He takes One day. <laughs> yeah, One day. He will. He's got he's got the chutzpah. <laughs> Dude, that just blew my mind. I mean, I, I, I honestly can't even imagine. Like, I get nervous when I take too long at the airport to shit. Mm-hmm. And you're like, there's people that saw me go in. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, no. where's the girl in the pink jacket? Where's she been? I shit so fast. Yeah. That I'm done before I'm done peeing if I start at the same time. I'm in and out, sweetie. I have a schedule. I'm done. How do you do this efficiently? I don't know. I just... I don't, I have this crazy thing I do where I only shit when I need to. What is everyone else doing? Why are they there pushing? Well, hold on, Kim. I think you just blew my mind. <laughs> well, Cause she's right. She's fucking right. There comes to a point where you know, you're like, you, shitting is like a, a 15 minute thing. There's like the first feeling. It's like, if you have migraines, you get the aura. Wow. You're right. I ignore that. I don't run to the toilet then. There's other things I could be doing. Like, so, sure. so like labor you're in the early stages of labor i'm bouncing on balls it's a <laughs> i'm getting my shit ready i'm doing squats you got your playlist <laughs> yeah and then i go right when if i didn't go right then i would shit my pants see see this is but to, may i tell you my logic then mm-hmm. and i liked pre-production I, when there's a first hints of the brown i want to go because i don't know how much time i have oh what I, if i go into actual labor yeah and i'm not near the toilet i must have a strong sphincter you tr- but you also I'm, trust your body. It sounds like you trust your. I'm know down yourself. to a science. Yeah, That's I don't know how. my body anymore because I think because I pushed out two people. Oh, that probably changes. Shit shifts. The tubes are everything's gone. <laughs> what? Wait, do you guys do this? Do you wait? Oh, we got to wrap it. But do you do you wait until the last moment, or do you have confidence in your bowels like that, Chad? No, they sit for four hours. I, I like their to legs sit. are numb. Their dick is numb. It's, <laughs> their balls are in the toilet. I do some of my best thinking when I'm in there. Yeah, you know? that's so true. I like if I'm here, I like to speed it up. I don't yeah, like. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit here. You know what they're thinking of? The yeah. Roman Empire. <laughs> She's not wrong. That's what they're thinking of, it's right? A lot of, a lot of good info on YouTube about the Roman Empire. I told yeah, you. guys like that in war Ugh. killing. All right. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding. Kim Congdon, thank you so much for being here. Listen to her podcast, This Bitch with Sarah Weinshank. You've had, we've had Sarah on the show, and I, I'm so pumped for you to be in Austin Yay. more. Please come back and do this show. To. Is there anything else you'd like to plug before you're out? Yeah, kimcongdon.com for all my show dates. Um, I have my own solo podca- podcast called The Kim Congdon Takeover that I just launched, so I'd nice. love some support on that. And um, yeah, thank Dude, you for having you're me. You're so funny, and I'm so pumped. I love you so much. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is dude. the best. best. All right. Subscribe to the show. And um, until next time, stay cool, moms. Bye. Hi, mommy. Thank you for watching that episode. Did you like what you see? I hope you did. So why don't you subscribe? Just click the subscribe button and, you know, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. And also, why don't you watch another video? What? Watch one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, down there, whatever. There's so much stuff, bro. I make these all the time for you to watch. That's why I'm here. I love you.